Hello folks and welcome to something a bit different around here. So here we are on Court Farms. Also map done by Oxygen David and Yep, yeah, this is gonna be a brand new series and hopefully a long and healthy series. So yeah, what is the premises of us being here? So we actually we don't live too far from here actually. Uh, we take the risk speed, but now we hit the natural speed limit. But yeah, so the premises of us being here is we've been asked to come here. We want to get pretty much away from sea. We live not too far from here in Bristol, nearby sea Bristol. And I thought, move to the country a bit, but still quite close to where I came from and that. So here we are in Bamwell, Somerset, which is about a half an hour's drive away. And we've been taking on a contract business, pretty much, so we've got a 50 grand sum at the moment. And actually, I think our farm is around here, actually. For our little humble little bows. So we've already got a tree moved over here, our little sheds. And also, we may see it around the corner. We've taken over a old business, apparently I know it went bankrupt or something, but it does have a healthy selection of equipment, so there we go for turning here. And here we are, so actually I think if we park up by the house here, there we go. Basically this is our house, our little trailer, it's on stilts at the moment, but yeah, so here we are, and was there a sign for a store? Yeah, so it's just outside the Valley View stores, which is just around the corner up here. Next to someone else's property, so let's not go too far over, but we do have access to here, I have access to this grassland here, even though there ain't much of a grass. For some reason there is a bunker silo, I'm not too sure why on that. Yeah, let's have a look at what we've got here. So we've got a trailer. Use low bells or pallets on. Ah, oh, so it's all filthy equipment. But it's, it's a very classy equipment. If I have to say so myself. So we've got a forge wagon, a mower, a cultivator, wind rower, and tether. So for tractors, we've got the class. Was that 850? Yeah, 850 Axion. And no, that doesn't have a front loader attachment. And we've got the class 610 Arian. And again, no front loader linkage system, so. Yeah, I'm not too sure now what that is, but anywho. So, obviously, you've got sheds. We do have some solar panels, apparently, we get a little bit of money coming in. For what we don't use, we sell off to the grid. I think we get something like 200, 400 quid a month. Eh, yeah, well, I guess it's something better than nothing. And in the workshop, ooh, we've got some more equipment. So, we've got a Class Dominator 105. Again, very filthy and dirty. And we've got a New Holland C362 skid steer loader. Got a grapple bucket and some pallet forks, so not too bad. Access to a workshop so we can repair and retain our equipment. Got another toolbox out of here and a jet washer, which we're going to need straight away. So, anyways, we are a contract business. That's basically what we're doing here. We've got a, a decent amount of starting equipment. We're missing some bits. The combine, I think, is going to be an issue for us. We don't have a front loader to do pallets on. We don't have a cedar or a planter to do put things in the ground. We don't have a fertilizer. But what we've got and done is accept some contracts. We've got a cultivation contract on field 14. That's going to be a pretty big one. A fertilizing contract on field 20. And a harvesting contract on field 18 that is wheat and we do have some other contracts we've got some 
10 contracts to do. We've got another cultivation there available, but that's going to be a very small field. Same with the fertilizing. And there is several harvesting contracts to do. Not really profitable too much. However, we can't be picky for choices in that. We need the money. Because if we go and have a look. So yeah, here's the PDA, here's a map. So we are here, so we're just down from the Grey Mill. And next to Value View Bells and Value View Stores, as we already said. But yeah, some decent sized fields, some narrow small fields up here on northeast. As we get to central, that's when we get to the more bigger fields, so if we have looked at plots of land. 309 grand for that. 421 for that. Ouch. But what about some farms? So that's one of the farms there. 309 grand. There's a farm somewhere down here. 42. A bit more reasonable. 73 grand, but that doesn't have any animals, I don't think. Well, some of the more main farms has all your animals, like this one here. 218 grand up here. But yeah, there's some plots of land I'll be going around and have a look. Wait a minute. Why is that almost 10 million quid? Well, let's look at that at some point. Got no contract work in the area, but still. So yeah, for the contracts now, so what was it again? Go back up to the top here, so 14, 18 and 20. So I think it's down here, so yep, yeah, 14 is there, 18 and 20, so actually not too bad actually, all quite close to each other, so pretty much we have to come down here turn right turn left and turn left again and somewhere we'll have access to field 14 so I think about anything to do we'll hop into the 850 and yeah let's get on to some contract work so for this we're going to need cultivator Go hook it up. But I think what it's gonna get dirty anyways. But we're new ish around here, we're new here to Bamwell now. So let's go and start taking care of our equipment, clean it all up, and then we'll start doing some contract work. Obviously we need to lease a furrow spreader because we don't have one or buy one even. But yeah, 
that's going to be expensive. Also, the harvesting. We don't have a trailer or a green card to transport it, so let's have a look in the brochure here. So, if we go to Orgo Wagons. Oh, sorry, it's same six grand. Is there any other better deal ones? Ooh, so we can get that one. 20,000 litre capacity. There's a seed runner by Schultz Modding, but that would work. It's got a nice auger system. Or we can go with the Parker 6500 green cart. I think we'll go with something like that. Again, we'll have to go to the dealership and speak to them. But then also, we need a fertilizer spreader, so. Where that be to? There we go. Ouch, that is 40, 25 grand for the cheapest one. We may have to make multiple trips to the shop with that. Because yeah, I think if we get something like that, and the seed runner, then yeah, that'd be a, an okay start for us. We need those stuff anyways for the contracts and that, but it's going to be a while before we see our investment return. But things like the green cart or whatever we're going to get with that, that will return because that will keep us once we get our own farm. Because we do want to get our own farm in that around here, but ah, it's going to be extremely expensive. Unless we want to take out a loan, but if we take out a loan, we're looking at a good half a million for to get a farm and fields. Or even just get fields alone, that's going to be a couple of hundred grand. Something like this, field 14, that will really do us good, but then also it's time because this is going to take us a bit of work to do with this field because I think there's only, what, a 6 meter? Yeah, 6 meter cultivator. And if we want to get a larger one. Man, we're looking into one. We're going to run into the horsepower issues. And yes, I think that would be nice. Wait a minute, we got that, but we, we can try to swap that out, get some money back, and go with something like that. Basically, it's just chains and some racks. Obviously it's going to create a different field texture because it's obviously cultivates it up, rips it up and also does a bit of rolling so you get a different texture in the ground but but man actually I do have to say that texture is absolutely nice definitely tell the difference there compared to what I'm used to seeing around in my other farming adventures, but so yeah, I think what we'll do is continue on with this. We'll get this all done, and then we'll return once we're done with this. And uh, once we get onto the harvesting, because this is going to take us a while. Make it a worker set off on this, and it will help in that. But of course, that's going to be expensive in all of itself. Yeah, we've got four weeks, so we're week one of September, we've got four weeks to do all of this, but uh, this is going to be somewhere, I think. But this is what we're in for, this is the business we'll get into. And really, things like workers don't eat into the profits, because we're only getting six grand for doing this, but locals need our help, so yeah, I'm here to help. And yeah, I'll complain on whatever work we can get. And there we go, so that is one contract complete already. And now it's time to focus on contract number three. And we did go and spend the money on what we said, so we've got the seed runner down here. Did have to use a pick up or a little landy here? Rather than the tractor, just because of the auger now, it's like even like with this, it's 
almost clip him onto here, so maybe a bit of a bad choice. Depends on if it's can pull it. If it's can pull it, then fine. Obviously, he's got a hitch in that, but it's not, not a three point linkage or anything like a tractor, so maybe a bit problematic once we start doing this up with rain and that. Last thing, this is a very small convoy. I mean, like, just doing this one strip up here already, that is over 10%, so I'm going to definitely run into issues with that. But the fertilizer spreader I've shot, it shot with 3,000 litres of fertilizer, so we may have to buy more, I don't know, so if we're having an overspend, sure away, we just keep our options limited. Maybe worth it in the future when doing the frozen contracts is lease or lease it from the farmer and that. Yes, we've got to pay a fee in that to use our equipment. It's obviously things like wear and tear and all that. It's all compensates from the like, obviously bringing in paint, obviously to the work, but then we also have to use their equipment. Then we got to basically pay for the fees of Maintenance, which doesn't sound right. Also, you do have access to the bank in that, so if we need money in that, go to the bank. Yeah. So, if we have a look, so we've got the bank, yeah, they're stacked, and obviously, they do ship now, they've got great money in that. They always come and go with spending things on whatever the D ship needs, like new equipment and that. And obviously, you make it on a bit of a discount, discount price, you never know. Maybe I'll get a headland done. Ideally, I'll almost do like two headlands and get a work off on this. Because if we get a work off on this, then we'll start doing our first contract. That'll be a very quick contract to do. Obviously, it's just the cost of fertilizer, that's the only problematic thing. Because, yeah, 750 quid for a thousand litres. It's pretty expensive, mate. I've got to look around the businesses, so they can cooperative in that business around here. That could pretty much help us with getting some cheap materials and that in, some cheap fertilizer. Obviously, quality may be subject, but it does the job, it does the job. Yeah, I, just, I do love this convoy, actually. The convoy is a bit. Obviously this is an older, this is from like the 70s and the 80s, so this is good, like 40 old equipment that has been sort of, I guess at some point very recently. Or it's done to such a good job at it's the test of time. There we go, that's one head and done. I'm gonna try to get two done, which we won't, but Obviously this field has got weeds, I'm not sure if it's been fully fertilised or anything. We have a look here. Yeah, only 57 fertilised, so... It's getting a small yield bonus for that first application of fertiliser. Obviously the farmer not taking care of the weeds now. But the Roy, whose field this is we're doing, Anyways, here's what it is. Hopefully, we get some green left over. And even heck out. If we can pick up the straw now, where it's with the forest wagon or something. There we go. It's 20% of the contract completed. I think if we put the order out ready. So I think we're going to have to. Empty this so there we go, get that one away. Then we go over here, go and get the landy. Obviously, the problem we're picking up is with the Roy that us have access with the forge 
wagon. I doubt it, but I think the shop can help us with that with a little cheeky piece of equipment. There we go. in. There we go, Sparrow. Alright, so we need to go around and down. Get the cover opened up. It's a harvesting done, so 48,000 litres plus an additional 4,500 litres left in the combine, so that's on its way to the shop at the moment. But now, so we've got and borrowed this from the D ship, a little pickup, so in theory, this should let us pick up all of this straw, and then obviously, if we could have built it, it'd be ideal, but. So yeah, we can't do that normally. But if we do this, unfold the pipe. There we go. So yeah, now we're picking up the straw gnats. So yeah, may again this may take a few trips, so obviously we've got nowhere to store the straw, so we're gonna have to look at Cell points, so obviously things like field beans and alfalfa and rye and linseed will get to do some of those at some point. But straw, four, so 
pretty much all of it is decent price apart from sell everything fully down bells and town store bells so actually we'll take it to Vi or Valley View or the Garden Center so because Valley View is next to ours our little area so and the Garden Center is all the way over there so rather than saving making that trip Literally, we'll take it over here because, yeah, the universal cell points is down there. So, if I view or tall trees, looks like the best option. So, have a look at prices again. There we go. Prices so 108, literally the same price. So, Actually, ain't too bad. 108 quid for a thousand liters. At the end of the day, it's some money for us. Obviously, if we get as close as we can to a hundred grand, then we can buy a decent chunk of land and start doing some little bit of silage work in that silage work, or if it's a decent field, plant some crop in there. Or so, well, obviously, that is really dependable on. How much money we can get for these contracts? Oh, okay, there is some wheat we have left by accident. No worries, we'll go and pick those up. Yes, yeah, so that's going in fine. As in tennis, so that is 13,500 leaves at the moment, so that is a grand. I consider we're only getting like a couple of grand for the harvest contract, I think. Yeah, three grand from this, so the shrew, this is free for us, so. Obviously, this is going to cost us about a grand and a half, two grand to borrow from the dealership, which we haven't paid, so, so we came to agreement, so I want to test it out, see if it works for us. Got it all signed in that, so once we go and return this, Climb Blue had the ship said so once we go and return it by the end of the day, he is happy for us to pretty much not pay for it until we've gone in, obviously tested it, and it's working out very well for us. So, pretty much now we've covered the decent fees, so the rest of the roll, the amount we get. Is pure profit, so I'm gonna spend some time doing this and I think we'll just show when we go and sell some of these produces. Got some great sell, so yeah, the interest bit works. So, get all this done and I'll see you folks in a second. And here we are at the shop because we've quickly decided to buy something before the shop closes at 6. Because we need a trader because our forge wagon obviously doesn't accept grain. And the sea tender that we had, the sea runner, uh, well the pipe doesn't go into the actual silos of these cell points so we're going to need a trader so. Funny enough, we bought a brand new class Calarat 140TD. It's a 22,000 capacity, so what we need to do is first of all go to the farm, pick up the seed, not the seeds, uh, pick up the grain that's in the combine because we've got everything moved back to the farm. We made 10,000 and 900 quid just from the straw. Compare that to the free grant from this contract we're getting and whatever else we're going to get from obviously the grain itself. The grain seems to be decently dry enough. Hopefully the green meal uh, is this store and that doesn't have an issue with the quality of the grain, like the moisture content. I think it was raining early on today so 
Well, that was in the morning, so it's our time to dry up now, so. But yeah, I should start checking the map again. So, still getting used to obviously going everywhere now. Obviously, on this map, it's good to get lost, I think, in a way. Explore the beautiful scenery and just look at the sunset. That is gorgeous. The lighting and that. But yeah, so here we go. So let's go and pick up this green. And then we'll perhaps look at more contracts and that. There's still some sorghums and fields and that, and these harvesting, so. Oh yeah, so I need to pay the dealership to grand, so actually what? Let's do that now, so we want to go to the dealership, transfer money to grand. That's for leasing it today and up till tomorrow. Pay the extra money to have it for tomorrow as well. I left out the shop now, just all the them store now. Mm. Oh, for its sake, that's going to be problematic. Jordan doesn't fit. Nope. Alright, let's get these things knocked off a sec. Get the toolbox over and take off those extensions. Alright, so, okay, we've put the extensions in the shed over there, so now, all these are a bit of a reduced capacity, but it's for the sake of the combine now, the combine, at some point, we want to upgrade it now, is there anything to use the dealership? Ooh, there's a Heston Bader, but only 13% off. Oh, there is a wrapped beater. Only 29 grand. Yeah, it only does the small bills, but it's one of those things could be worth looking at. Obviously, we've got a bunker side, we've got the forage wagon. So, I'm going to do the grass working out. It's not going to be an issue for us. I want to get grass filled in. Do you need to go this way? Hopefully there's a way out here on the left. Yeah, there is, so... Anyways, let's go to the actual shop in that. The other shop. Where we've got green to. And then we'll go ahead and sell everything. And there we go at the shop, so... Ooh. Pull off land, so... Potentially could make our own farm over there. <laughs> yeah, I got a bit of sidetracked there, so yeah, anyways, here we are at the store now. So the green cell point is here. There we go. So we'll put the first load in. Oh, that's only 20%. So yeah, we're going to fill this up, so wheat, if we have a look at the prices, we're in September, so if we can hold it onto it for another night, sell the rest tomorrow, because yeah, where we're at the moment, we're here, so really the green mill or the fly down stores is quite good, or pine creek stores. So yeah, in theory, this should be another 50% or so in. How much will we have left over? Not a lot, so... There we go. I will just back that up in. Oops, too sharp. Back up. 
Someone to overload the train I don't lose any grain, so someone try to keep a close track of Okay, that's almost everything. And now for the last bit. Ah, yes, he is a two hopper system. I was like, yeah, why did it stop all of a sudden? But, anywho, let's see how much we'll get from this. So, that is contract complete 114 quid, and you know what? Okay, we'll just sell the rest. Not much green left over there, so let's just sell the rest. So yeah, that is two grand in green, ten thousand hundred pound in straw for a contract that only gets us three grand or thirty two hundred and forty six. There is a hay and not yeah hay contract. So, but in theory, it shouldn't necessarily be bells, right? Cause if it's going to store now, uh, store area, then I'm sure they'll accept loose green or not loose green, um, loose hay in that. So, possibly, I think we'll try that. Let's give that a go. As well, it'll pay well. And then anything extra we will for cheap we could have kept for ourselves but yeah just no real big harvesting contracts that's appealing to me. Some Lindsay's ones, but apart from that, really not much interesting so anyways, that's where I leave it. Ooh, look at that, look at the stars in that. But yeah, that's where we'll leave it. So next time what we'll do is we'll go and sell this because it's not really used to us at the moment and we need the money desperately. It was a good idea. Risk it. And even with the other one, this is the better option with a bigger boom now out. But yeah, obviously you can't get that in here now. If it was if you want the other side, yeah. What I do, so there's no chance of that working out. So, but yeah, let's have a look at the night. And it goes pitch black. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. That is, that is absolutely gorgeous. So. But yeah, so anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share it, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's me Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.